BJ from Board Game Gumbo here. I've got my guest, TC Petty the Third, Puppy Shogun. TC, we have something in common. Yeah. We, at least as for what I can tell on the state of the games, besides being board gamers, um, yeah. I am fascinated. I don't own them all, but I'm always fascinated. I want to try any game that has a city in it. If it's got the name of a city, like Ohm, I am going to seek it out. I'm going to play it, and I'm probably going to buy it. And and from everything I know about you, you're the same way. Well, I, okay, so so maybe it's not because like I I am that way. It's more that like all the games that I've made, all the games that I've played, have been just they're good and they have a name of a city in them, right? Like so, if I see it, I'm just like, oh well, that game's going to be good. Oh, knocking well, things well, over. Speaking of good, at least I hope this is a great segue. I've got up there, if you don't mind, I went to your Twitter page and I oh, found no. a picture of this game I've been hearing about. Uh, and you posted it on social media, so I'm assuming this is fair game. Yeah, everything's fair game. Okay, good. So uh, it looks like a picture of Ez, and you and you and uh, Chris have joked around a lot about it on the State of uh, Games podcast. But mm -hmm. now this is the first time I'm seeing it in public. Is, is this going to be one of those great city games in the TC Petty trilogy of great city games? Well, that's the that's the that's the goal, right? Is to make the trilogy of city building awesome games, right? So tell um, us about Ez. What, what's the story on Ez? Well, Ez, uh, you know, it's cool because like I've been I've been working on these like it's sort of just it, jokingly, right? Like I was like, well, I'm gonna find some hard to pronounce cities. Now this one doesn't <laughs> sound too hard to pronounce, but if you just look at the word, you're like, I don't exactly know if I'm saying this right, which is perfect. Right. That's all I care about. Um, so in Ez, it's like 1860s, uh, the, uh, the railroad is first gotten down to the French Riviera. And now at that time period, like pretty much all these like diplomats and, uh, uh, what middle class, middle class affluent individuals from like England all started coming down to the French Riviera and by word of mouth, more and more and more people showed up. And so like, while it started off as like people just being really sick and coming down to get fresh air, which actually made them unsick reasonably because they didn't have to live during like the winter time, sure. right? They'd come sure. down during the winter and they'd be feel better. And they'd come back and say, Hey, I feel better for some reason because I wasn't, you know, <laughs> dying of sickness in a really like cold area. Um, so at this that time North period, Shore, that North Shore area I was talking about earlier, that's exactly how it got started. People from New Orleans needed to get out of the city. Every time there was some kind of plague or something going on, they would go to the North Shore for the fresh air and fresh water. So yeah. that's that's how the city of Ez uh, developed. Yeah. So it's the same same thing. And uh, Ez was sort of like this medieval like village on a hillside. And it had kind of gone into disrepair at this point. And um, over the next, when that started to happen, they had more money all of a sudden and people were visiting. And so as they saw that, they started creating a tourist village. Okay. Right. So this was like a tourist destination. They built up and created this sort of medieval rest restored village. So in this game, instead of like building the city, you are restoring the city to it's like medieval like a uh, uh, thing, but also making a tourist attraction, right? So uh, this is sort of a game, like, I mean, there's other places along the French Riviera, like Monaco and stuff that are more like well-known, but this is, it's nice to have one that's like so specific, right? So the cool part about it is that you get to, uh, you get to, well, hey, we're gonna have live stuff here. Hold on one oh, really? second. Yeah. Ooh, a scoop. <laughs> hey, hey, Steve, we got a scoop, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. My, I have to let out. So my, uh, I, I live in an apartment upstairs. Okay. And I have to let out this dog. So hold on one sec. Live yeah, no problem. Yeah, you <laughs> Not take the weird of things. Bj from More Game Gumbo here. Stick around. We're talking to TC Petty the Third. Hey, there's David Miller checking in. What's up, David? Oh, good to see you checking in, man. Looking at your uh, picture there sideways. I see you, David. Um, <laughs> Some of those Alexandria guys uh, came in for the Southern, so for the uh, Louisiana Comic Con. I didn't get to go on Saturday, but got to see. I was just talking to some of the uh, the viewers there in the chat. So, oh yeah, hey, yeah. So we're back with TC Petty. He's talking to us about Ez, the city yeah. from the Riviera. Yeah. So, and that's great. I mean, it's a French Riviera city. Uh, in the game, though, it's cool because I mean, they were fishermen at the time, and so you're a fisherman. And you're going to start making investments into the town by using, uh, well, 
I don't know the way that you tuna. <laughs> I've I've started doing a lot of thematic things. So the way that you you tuna fish is you you go out in boats and you use nets and just scoop up the tuna fish, right? So I mean, there's videos on YouTube that you can watch of people like actually tuna fishing, and in the Mediterranean, this is a good place for tuna. And so okay. this was a good place for as they did tuna. So you're going to create enclosures with nets uh, to pick up uh, tuna. And that's going to fuel uh, restoring some of these buildings. So each of the buildings have like costs. And if you look at the board, which is which is over there, you can kind of see each player has their own color of building that goes onto the board. And sure. as it's a little tough to see in that picture, but like you can see, but uh, as you take actions from sort of a, a main section in the middle of the board, you're gonna move these little tourist tokens through the town. One's for the fishing action, which is pesh in, in French. Sure. And then uh, one's for the restoration action, which is putting these buildings down. And then another one is for the visitor action, which is actually like, you know, people like Queen Elizabeth, uh, uh, some Russian, Russian, yeah, celebrities, Russian dis dignitaries, uh, in infirm people. <laughs> Um, and they'll build villas around the town um, if you can uh, get them to move there. But as you take those actions, those tokens are going to move through the city from spot to spot. And when you have a building on one of those spots where it lands, you get to activate it, oh. even if it's not your turn. So by taking ac by me taking an action, you might get fueled with like other actions from oh. all the buildings that you've built in the town. So positive again, player yeah, interaction. positive player interaction, but also an interconnected economy I so like that, that every action that I take is, it's good for me because I kind of want to land it someplace. But if you're on that spot with me, hey, you get, get stuff too. So I really yes. like that stuff. Steve says his daughter actually visited as, described it as a climb the mountain, turn the corner, see what new thing is there. Surprise shops, garden of exotic plants. Sounds more like, like one of those little European villages where there's little tiny streets and around every corner there's a, there's a unique surprise or a unique shop or a unique experience. Exactly. And I think that's what I'm trying to capture here that like we're just setting up these little things, trying to make it look like a medieval town. But, you know, it's not a big thing. We're not, we're not changing the world here. This is like making this new town the best.